Here I'm going to make some liquid crystals, and what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some cholesterol oleocarbonate carbonate mixed with some cholesterol polyorganite. And all you have to do to kind of make this into an experiment is try doing different amounts of each. So here we've got about 0.1 grams. There you go, 0.1 grams. All right, we're gonna mix that with 0.2 grams of the carbonate version. We're gonna get that in the same test tube, and then we're gonna melt the two together. So when we melt the two together, there's gonna to be a chemical reaction between them. We're going to take that. It's gonna be our liquid crystal, so we're gonna get this in here. Warm it up. So once that's completely melted together, we're gonna to take that, that's gonna be our liquid crystal, and we're gonna put it on top of this paper here. Um, we're gonna use that to kind of be able to run temperature tests on it see how it turns out but what you want to do when you vary this is you want to just vary how much of the two chemicals you use there's also other chemicals you can add to this mixture to make different kinds but you want to look then at when you'll get the liquid crystal state what temperature range and then also one of the fun things to do that we're going to do is look at what colors they'll change when you get them into the liquid crystal state So now we're going to go ahead and take this melted mixture and we're going to put it onto our contact paper. And there we go, there's our liquid crystal. Probably go ahead and heat that up and we'll get our color scheme back. You can see a kind of ring of color right there. It's like a bluish silver with a little hint of rainbow. And so the temperature range for this is going to be similar to what the temperature of your hands are. You can actually pick it up. use the warmth of your hands to get it to change. So right in there you can see the little crystal hardening up. You can see some of that light properties there, the nice little rainbow. So here you can see some liquid crystals cooling down and you get that nice rainbow effect as they do. And here's ours. Very nice. So depending on how much you mix of each will influence what kind of patterns you get and at different temperatures when they'll be 